Okay, let's get started on part 2. Dash's attention was brought back by a party horn unfurling and tickling her nose. She gaped at Pinkie Pie who was standing right in front of her. The party horn was wearing a dress quilted from dried skin, imbus sewn with cutie marks. Who's cutie marks? On her back fluttered six Pegasus wings, all of different colors. You mean... Fluttershy too? Ugh. As the earth pony skipped in excitement, her necklace of several unicorn horns clicked together loudly. Uh, where is it? Twilight Sparkle? Ay. Like it, Pinky asked. I made it myself. Desperately Dash pleaded with the smiling pony before. Pinky, please, I'm sorry if I did anything to you. I didn't mean it. Please let me go. I promise I won't tell anybody. Oh, Dash, you didn't do anything. It's just that your number came up and, well, I didn't make the rules. I don't make the rules. We can't turn back now. Dash was tearing up. How could this be happening? Aw, oh, don't be sad, Dash. Why shouldn't she be sad? You're going to make her into a cupcake! Said Pinky. Look, this will cheer you up. I brought you a friend. Seemingly out of nowhere, Pinky brought a brightly painted blue and yellow skull. It was about pony size, but it had a very defining feature. A beak. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Dash gasped in shock. Is, is that... Is that... Hey Dash, let's hang out together. These ponies are lamos. Tweeps, tweeps, tweeps. Pinky mimicked. I caught her right before she left town. Remember when I left the party for about 20 minutes? That wasn't enough time to play with her, of course. I had to wait till after the party to do that. But boy, I'm glad I did. It was worth it for the flavor alone. Griffins taste like two animals at once. It's amazing. I know she didn't have a number like everyone else in Ponyville. But when I was gonna get another chance, but when was I gonna get another chance to try Griffin? I don't know. I probably should have asked where she came from so I could have gotten more, but I forgot. I, I'll tell you what though, she was quite a fighter. Oh really? She lasted a long time, which was a lot of fun for me. You're a sick. I got the chance to play with somebody other than a pony and try new things. It's too bad she had such a meanie mouth. She said so much bad stuff, I just had to take her tongue out. You did what? Pinky, that's just disgusting! Ugh. You know, bad language makes makes for bad feelings, Rainbow Dash. Dash didn't have anything to say. She just sucked and breathed in her tight bones. Well, said Pinky, with an air of finality, that's enough remissing. It's time to begin. Putting down Gilda's skull, the pink pony gripped a scalpel from the left of her hoof and walked over to Dash's right flank. Without any flare, Pinky placed the blade an inch above Dash's cutie mark and began a circular cut around it. Dash shouted in pain and tried desperately to pull away, but the braces held her still. That must hurt like hell. Finishing her incision, Pinky grabbed a curved skinning knife from the tray. A what? Did she grab? Screwing up her face in concentration, she worked it under Dash's skin and sliced the hide away from the muzzle. Um, can anyone tell me why Pinky is doing this? Please, give me a private message or comments. Please, pretty please. Dash ground with her teeth as she tearfully watched her flesh peel off. Pinky then moved to the other side and repeated the process on Dash's left flank. When she had finished, Pinky held up both cutie marks in front of her friend and started waving them like pom-poms. Ew. Dash just whimpered. Her tights burned like nothing she had felt before. Placing the rag patches of skin down, Pinky selected a large butcher knife and walked behind the blue pegasus. Hope you don't mind. I think I'm gonna wing it now. Pinky left. She is... What? What? I... She grabbed Dash's left wing in her mouth and played with it for a few seconds, yanking it back so it, so the sharp pain reignited the fire in Dash's flanks. Then, stretching the wing out, Pinky brought the blade down hard at the base. Is she going to... Uh... Okay. Instantly, Dash screamed and 
thrashed her appendage. The movement threw off Pinky's aim. She hit, tried to hit her, the mark again, but missed and caught the huge slice in Dash's back. Ouch. Dash, you gotta stay still or I'll kill missing. Keep missing. Scolded Pinky as her friend howled. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were going to make me into a cupcake. I'm so sorry, Pinky. Forgive me. Pinky took another whack and hit her target. She swung again and again. Um, I've got a question. If she doesn't have any hands, how can she, um, hack her wings off? Tell me. Blood sprayed into the air, but Pinky realized she wasn't getting anywhere. The blade just wasn't going through the bone. Hmm, I guess I forgot to sharpen it. I'll try something else, stated Pinky matter-of-factly as she tossed the knife over her shoulder, embedding the blade in the table. Jesus. Through the haze of pain and, t and tears, Dash heard the sound of a metal box opening and closing. Got it. Say, Dash, why do they call it a hacksaw? It doesn't hack. Hacking is what I was doing with the knife. This is a saw. I don't get it. Um, let me see. I need... Damn it, I don't know where I am. Oh, uh, there. <laughs> Pinky placed the tool over the mangled flesh of her, the last attempt. Standing on her hind leg, she worked the saw back and forth with her front hooves. Again, how can she do it if she's a pony and ponies doesn't have thumbs or hands? They have hooves. It slides effortlessly through the bone and skin. Ouch! The feeling of the jack teeth grinding into her mid dash wants to vomit. She watched numbly as her wing flew over her head and landed with a fluff on the table. Fluff, 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 fluff. Jesus. Pinky moved to the next wing and started saving. Sawing. Saving. Sawing. Bleh. Sawing, I'm just gonna say. Dash didn't struggle this time. She'd given up trying to fight and focused on choking back screams of agony. Abruptly, the sawing paused. Pink was only halfway done, the wing hanging off by a sliver. Hey Dash, Pinky piped up, piped up. Think fast! Suddenly, Pinky yanked the wing as hard as she could. What the fuck is wrong with that pony? I'm just asking. The bone snapped, but the blue pony's skin held, then tore away. I, uh... It hurts for just thinking of it. The pull ripped away a long strip of flesh all the way down Dash's back to her rump. Her body seized at the unexpected trauma. As her pelvis tensed up, Dash felt a warm release between her legs and her loud, unending melody of pain filled the room. Unable to catch her breath, she blacked out. Ugh, this is getting creepier and creepier by a sentence. Dash awoke with a gasp. The stench of a urine filled her muscles cake nostrils. As her vision swam, 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 I think, into focus, she saw a very pouty pony removing a large adrenaline needle from her chest. Ow! Ouchie! Ouchie, 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 jinkies! Stomping her hooves, the frustrated pinky lashed out at her helpless victim. Didn't anybody teach you any manners? It's very rude to fall asleep when you, when somebody invites you over to spend time with them. Oh, I'm sorry, Pinky. She blacked out. Didn't sleep. Um. How would you like it if I came over to your house and went to sleep? Oh, I'm sorry, Dash. You're so boring. I think I'll take a nap. You think I like always doing this by myself? I told you how excited I got it, got when I found out you were next. I was excited to have a friend to be with me while I worked, but no. You got to be inconsiderate. You know, I thought you were tough. I thought you could handle anything. I've had foals stand up better than you. Do I have to baby you? Huh? Is that how you want me to remember you as a baby? As Pinky stopped to catch her breath, Dash blinked and stopped softly. Her pain was in agony. Her sides were on fire and there was an intense pain in one of her legs. As she blinked again, she saw Pinky pop something red into her mouth and began to chew. Noticing Dash is there, Pinky quickly gulped the morsel down. What? Pinky asked. Oh, this? She held up another piece. Again, how can she do that with no hands? Well, while you were asleep, I got a little impotent and helped myself to a small sample. 
I got it from your leg. You're not bad. Wanna try some? Um, no, Pinky, I don't wanna try some. Without waiting for a response, Pinky shoved the strip, strip of meat into the revolted Pegasus pony's mouth. Ew, disgusting! Dash gagged and immediately spit it out. Pinky frowned and picked up the chunk of flesh. If you didn't want it, you could have said no. But you didn't give her the chance, you mother thingy. She contemplated the discarded snotty morsel and gulped it down. Ew. It's not like you haven't had my cupcakes before. Swallowing, Pinky turned her attention to a small can on the tree. She removed the lid, revealing that it was filled with red hot coals. Lying on top of the coals were several. several Ooh, my English shucks. Large nails. As the adrenaline filled her veins, Dash began to panic again. Picking up the can, Pinky walked over to Dash's left. Hold some tongue in her mouth, Pinky carefully picked up a nail and po positioned it at the seam between her victim's front leg and hoof. She then grabbed a hammer and took carefully. No, Pinky, Dash screamed. No, no! The hammer came down and the nail punctured Dash's skin. Ugh, that must hurt like... Ugh. The white hot burning was too much. Ugh. Dash screamed as she pulled and thrashed at the braces, causing her raw skin to rub and tear. Damn it! Pinky, you're gonna give me nightmares! Pinky tried to line up another nail, but couldn't find her aim, and let, a frust and let out a frustrated grunt. Grunt? Isn't that the name of the monster in Amnesia? What the hell? When Pinky brought the hammer back to take a wild swing, Dash burst out crying and begging, Please stop! Please, please stop! Pinky rolled her eyes. Putting down the hammer and tongs, she walked back in front of her friend and started pensively at the broken Pegasus. Gilda didn't, Gilda didn't even cry this much when she had a live parasite stuffed down her throat, Pinky thought for a minute about what to do next. She had a what stuffed down her throat? Uh, Pinky, Pinky, Pinky. You are one sick pony. Then had a sudden spark of inspiration. Oh no, what's she going to do with poor Rainbow Dash? <sighs> Ugh, she's gonna get me nightmares sometimes.